Hi there, this is Mustafa. Today I'm going to talk about a new module here called the Stock Resupply Request. Uh, it's a, an amazing module which will help you to easily request uh, a product from a specific warehouse by yourself. By using this module, it will allow you to be easily to trace your all your requests uh, with its status. Uh, you have first to set a user access for the module. You have to go to the user here and grant the access of the module after installing it and put the, this access to resupply request, whether you have to give the access to the user or to the manager, to the user who will use, anyone can use this module to request a stock from a specific location in the warehouse. And of course, for the manager, it will be granted for the warehouse manager too. So after granting the access of the user, this is the, our module stock resupply request. We can easily use this module. We can create now our request. You can also say this is a request code. It's incremental uh, automatically by a sequence. So you uh, you have to fill the information, which is some mandatory information right here. You have to set your approver who will approve your request and proceed with the other status. We have a lot of status here for of our request. Draft to be approved in progress, warehouse operations, rejected and done. So I'm going to set myself as a, the approval. Okay. Now, requested from you have to define the stock or the, the stock location or the warehouse location you want the the stock from. Okay, so I'm going to set that location. Okay, aw slash stock. I'm going to I need some stock from that location. Ship to you have to select your location which the product stock will be delivered. After that, you have to put all the products you need right here, okay, like cartridge, and set the quantity, the desired quantity, I want 80 quantity from that product, and you have to set all the needed product in your request. Also, you have, you can set the requested date. Uh, let's say an example, you are requesting from the warehouse and you want the, the stock the, from a date start from 5 January to 16. So you need the stock whether, uh, within in this range of dates. Also, you can set a request date for each item you need. So you can set the end date of the stock. I need that by 8 of the month and I need that by 6 of the month. Okay, you can set some notes here of your request. Also, you can set a description for the whole process, which will be available in the, the internal transfer will be done. And that's all about your request. After finishing your request, you can save your request right here. And you cannot now the logs under there. After that, you can set the request approval. After that, you cannot see or the user cannot see those buttons. It's, all, it's only available for the approver, okay? So, uh, and the inventory manager, of course. So you can reset the, uh, the stock request or you can reject that stock request. Resetting the, the, the stock request, you can adjust the fields. You can set the, the stock request in progress, which means that I'm, uh, I approved that request and I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, create creating a new uh, internal transfer yet. So I can set it in progress. So when I am as a user tracing my request, I can say it's in progress requested by me. Okay, it's in progress right now. So the warehouse setting this in progress. Okay, uh, let's go back. After that, we can easily create internal transfer. After hitting that button, it means the system will automatically create an internal transfer from that location to that location. And you can easily find that trend internal transfer in the inventory module. So after hitting that button, that's me that the states will be shifting to the warehouse operation like that. Okay. The warehouse operations, it means that 
it's actually under progress in the where internal in the warehouse so the warehouse now is received a new internal transfer from this that location to that location okay let's prove let's go to the warehouse to see that internal transfer so i'm going to go to internal transfer we uh, we had that location aw which is stands for as bakaya warehouse so i have now a warehouse waiting for me to proceed this is the internal transfer have been created for me as a warehouse user or a stock keeper the operation type it's internal transfer the source location for my warehouse the destination destination location in rw stock which is predefined here in the request also in the internal transfer there is available source document which means sr stock request number 10 which is stands for here so you can easily search for that request also you can find all the product uh, requested by the user so and some note if we set the description or the whole description right here it will be it will transferred right here so that's also we can as we know to proceed with the inventory module and proceed our picking which is related to that stock uh, stock request after finishing my internal transfer i can easily return back to the request the warehouse operation request and set the request done which means this is request uh, finally done the request is done and the internal transfer is also done so as a user i can easily trace all my requests also i have uh, we have installed a, 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 a unique and uh, amazing filters right, right here to be approved, approved, rejected, done. Also, you can search by any status you want to keep track and you can see all the requests by the users. So uh, it's really a good module to be used and uh, that's all for today. So thank you so much for watching.